All right, match uh, three here against Sephistic. I think this is a uh, either Dredge or another Prowess player. We played this player before. Well, Radiant Fountains will give us some life, um, and I think this is a pretty decent hand. I do think so. Um, see, because they're playing Luris, uh, I just I'm not sure if this is Burn. Because if this is Burn, then we definitely want to lead on Soul Scar. But if this is, eh, yeah, this is not a lot of downside to leading on Soul Scar. I mean, there is, I guess, if it's like Jund, but this is unlikely to be Jund. They usually don't play Luris. And e even if this is like, um, even if this is like, uh, okay, it might be Jund. I mean, even if this is like Jund Shadow. Um, okay, well, we get to have our cake and eat it too, in a sense. Um, yeah, let's play Relic. I don't think we're going to attack, though. It's just uh, kind of not worth it. See, if that was a temple right there, then we could have gotten value instead of just um, just playing a tap land. So let's see. Okay, not exactly sure how that changes anything. This is very odd. I'm not going to lie. I'm not exactly sure what to make of these Noble Hierarchs. I was thinking to play Season Pyromancer, but... Uh, Definitely don't want this to get discarded, that's for sure. Yeah, we're going to play Season Pyromancer. Alrighty. Just, you know, neither of those cards are that spectacular, and we definitely did not want Season Pyromancer to uh, to get discarded. I think Bone Crusher Giant is much better, and watch, is, there's going to be a discard spell here. Oh. Alrighty, well, we will uh, remove our Soul Scar. Make uh, Scavenging Moose a little less devastating. Okie dokie. I still think they are on a Death Shadow plan. I could be totally wrong. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, yeah, they would. They wouldn't be playing this. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think they're on Death Shadow. I don't know what they're on, but I don't think they're on Death Shadow. They might be playing um, Ice Fang Coatl, but even if they are, what is this? Oh well, of course. I guess I'm thinking about just blocking. <clears throat> I mean, if I quad block, then. Did they? Oh yeah, I guess they did put a land to the graveyard. I don't think I care that much about taking two. Yeah, whatever. I'll take the two. Big, no biggie. Alright, Doki. Um... Yeah, let's attack. And I guess I'll stomp second main phase. So what they gotta trick up their sleeve first. Yeah, they do have five ice fan quadal, but it doesn't have um it doesn't have a death touch though. They may just want to block a token. Okay. That is fine by me. I think I'll just get just do this now. See, do we play Radiant Fountain? I think we do. Let's just cycle Forgotten Cave first. No. Because we want to blank, um... We want to blank a, uh, removal spell. I mean, a, a discard spell, if they have it. I mean, a targeted discard spell, if they have it. We'll cycle Cave in return. Yeah, definitely I wouldn't be replacing Cave. Cave. Cave is just very, very useful with cycling. Yeah. Okay, gonna attack me. 
Okay. Yeah, that'll be good for the Loris. All right, let's attack. Might have another nice fine quaddle. If so, I don't really care. Uh, yeah, no biggie. Um, see, do we play Bone Crusher or do we play, uh, or do we put Obosh to hand? I'm kind of tempted to put Obosh to hand, but if they've got a, um, a Thought Seize, that'll... Yeah, let's just put Obosh to hand. I just think... Now let's play Bone Crusher. I know it seems like we're going back and forth, but like... I think it's just good to just get in damage while we can. And also we might be taxing the removal. Yeah, oh well, actually, I guess. Yeah, let's just uh, respond by doing this. See, if this was Thought Seize, then it would be a different story, but anyway. Uh, yeah, I guess they can use that for Lurus. Oh, no, a Forest. Maybe they, oh, they can't. See, actually, they don't have the right colored mana to play Lurus. Oh, they can use it for white. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, Mistress Bobble. Okay. Alrighty, so they can bring that, they brought that back. It's a little odd. I would have thought they'd uh, bring back a bobble, but, you know, we'll see. Let's see, let's see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, Alright, well, let's uh, stop this, shall we? Let's uh, attack. And I think we will uh, play the Bone Crusher. And actually, these Radiant Fountains, actually, they definitely have. Definitely have value, I'll tell you that for sure. Maybe I should have played Obosh, but again, if they had a discard spell, this is just better. I'm going to Thought Seize specifically. Ooh, Village Rights. That's an odd card. Let's see. Let's see what they're up to. Okay. Okay, yeah. Alright, well. Good stuff, good stuff. We gained a lot of life with Radiant Fountain. I don't think we needed a scry if that was a uh, void. Man, actually, you know, Radiant Fountain, like, you know, we'll see. Um, I don't, I'm actually, I might want to try Filgree Familiar here, because this seems like an attrition matchup, and I don't think Soul Scar Mage or Monastery Fisper are all are really that necessary. Um, I do want Pillage to complete the lock. I do want Felgry Familiar. Yeah, the rest seems pretty seems pretty reasonable. I don't think I need Oblivion Stone. They might have Stoneforge though, in which case that could be useful. Do we really need Blood Moon? Because they do seem to have a lot of basics because of uh because of Quaddle. Yeah, I'm not gonna go all in on Blood Moon. Go to two of these. I play some pro-red creatures too, so Blue Stone is kind of a good hedge. I don't know though. I don't know about Pillage actually. Pillage might not be necessary. It all depends on whether they got Stone Forge or not. I mean, completing the lock with uh, with only two Blood Moons is a little dubious, but I'm just fairly confident they got Stone Forge. I mean, if you're playing a mid-range white deck, why would you not play Stone Forge? Let's see here. Let's 
la 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 yeah I like these Valakut Awakenings but they might actually just be better off as uh, temples um They also can't be discarded, which is nice. <laughs> the Ice Fang Coatl could be a little problematic, but I might just, I think I'd rather just go after the Noble Hierarch. But then again, the Coatl. Yeah, I'll go after the uh, after the hierarchs. <clears throat> the pillage, you know, I might be able to actually manage screw them. I know it seems it seems unlikely, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. Alright, so probably going to put Luris to hand. That's fine. I'm going to attack for two. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I think I'll play. I think I'll play Relic. Pretty good at, um, I think, diffusing. The uh, diffusing the Luris situation, if I do say so myself. Like if they're sandbagging another Mistress Bobble, then of course they can still get value. Yeah, let's uh, cycle this in response. And let's see if they've got the uh, got another bobble in hand. Which they might. Yeah, they do. It's, it's not unusual, but I also don't think that that's as good as, for example. So I'm going to turn off auto yields because um. Yeah, because we uh, we want to ideally stomp on upkeep before they can draw like a force negation. Let's say have a discard spell. Being kind of unfortunate. Alright. Yeah, but we're definitely going to stomp on upkeep. Because this is like the juiciest stomp target imaginable. And, uh, yeah, we don't want them to draw into something that can save it. Whatever that may be. Okay. We could still gain life. I don't think we need to just yet. I don't think the mana is such a big deal anymore. So I'm just going to go after the Quaddle. If they if they play Batter Skull, great. I'll just pillage it. And another Quaddle. You know, not bad. Not good, but not like bad either. Okay. Ooh, goify goif. Maybe now we start gaining life. Um, yeah, let's start gaining life. Alrighty. So I'll block, I'll, yeah, I'll block the Goyf, even if they can pump it, I can hopefully finish it off with Lightning Bolt. And whatever instant they have, most likely, unless it's like Village Rights, most likely, um, most likely would just be able to kill the Bone Crusher anyway. Oh, Blood Chief's Jurst. Uh, okay. I guess, I guess that is what it is.
And I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm going to turn off that auto yield on that one. So let's cycle cave. Uh, that'll help. Um, I may want to hit the coatl preemptively. I think I will. Um, I guess let's cycle this. Just don't know if you draw something good. We can pitch. It's not really something good we can pitch, but it is. It is something. Yeah, I was hoping we could get two tokens out of this, but you know, it is what it is. Felgrave Familiar seems like it could be good. Um, we'll hold up the bolt just in case they have some type of a. I don't know. Just in case they 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 try to equip something maybe to Noble Hierarch. Um, it seems unlikely, but you know. I don't, I don't think the difference between six and seven mana is that much. Hopefully, hopefully we don't eat that. I'm guessing this is a uh, this is a abrupt decay. Let's see here. I mean, I think I'm definitely chumping the token. I'm chumping with the token. Okay. What have I got? Another goif. Oh, village rights. Could have been a good reason to bolt. Um, but... Yeah, could also be a good reason to save bold. They could probably just sacrifice something else, or they would have just actually they could, might have just sacrificed it and just responded with village rights. I don't want to get I don't want to get pelted by a coatl. Um. Yeah, this might seem iffy, but if they got another village rights, that would suck. But we have to try, I think, yeah. They might, we might have turned on, nah, well, Mr. Rainforest could have turned on, uh, anyway. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get familiar down here. The life gain, I think, definitely can be useful. And, might as well attack. Yeah, definitely like buttressing our life total here definitely has its uh, has its value. I think we'll play the giant. We want to set up a board state where Obosh can just like crush when it comes down, and if we play a mountain, then the next turn we could uh, if we draw a mountain we could play we could put Obosh to hand and play it. Okay. I mean, even if we take five, I don't think that's the end of the world. So I'm fine to leave the familiar back. I mean, this is like the best block ever, if I do say so myself. Alrighty. Get to draw a card. It's pretty nice. Let's uh, cycle that in a turn. <laughs> that was like the best possible card to draw. Alrighty. All right. No, we'll keep the gravy train going, as they say. Yeah, these uh, familiars, they're kind of like a mid-range, really nice value card here. Gain some life, draw a card when they die. Not bad. Not bad, and I might, uh, might double block. I mean, sure, they could kill one, but no biggie if they do.
I mean, I'll draw a card with familiar anyway, so. Yeah. Alright, do your worst. Oh, is it actually going to trade? Hey, not bad. Not bad if I do say so myself. <clears throat> and the value seems to keep coming. Not bad. Um, Snapcaster, okay. Let's see what they snap back. Village rights, I'm guessing. You know, pretty decent. Pretty, pretty decent. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. Let's see here. Um, the goif. Oh, needle. I don't, think, I don't think needle does that much, does it? I guess they can permit from getting tokens. There's that. That name here. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to prevent me from getting tokens. I guess I guess we can always uh, pillage that though. So maybe we, maybe we do want to do that. <clears throat> hmm. Or we just want to just discard pillage. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna hold pillage to discard. Or you know what? Better yet. We'll just preemptively... Nah, because you just never know if like they play some kind of nasty artifact or something. I think kind of even... Like, Pithing Needle isn't, in the grand scheme of things, probably going to swing the game. But if they play Batter Skull... Although Batter Skull, actually, they can have enough mana to return it to their hand, so maybe that's flawed thinking. So that Pillage could actually deal with it. Anyway, I kind of like the idea of being able to... Let's see here. Uh, I like familiar, but here the goal here is going to be to draw into another fountain or mountain, so we can uh, then just play Obosh because that's way we can double spell. And if they have a counter spell, we can just you know just play the other Pyromancer and go from there. Nice. Okay, so I think we will just, uh, or maybe we'll just play the uh, familiar. Yeah, maybe I'll just play the familiar. Ice Fan Quaddle, not bad. I wouldn't want Season Power Master to, to die, but but I think I think the better overall value play here is to play Familiar. It is kind of a value powerhouse. Oh, well at least my creature won't die. And they're drawing a lot of cards too. We are both drawing a lot of cards, I don't know what to say. Okay, if I'll be familiar, da, 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 get your life. At least our life total is is safe and safe and sound. Our life total is cushy and nice. Da, 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 da. Let's see here. Go if you go if. Yeah, probably play the Obosh and okay. Alrighty. Question is, how greedy do we want to be? On the lock, right, that's fine. Well, let's just go after the needle then. 
And then hopefully next turn we can get max value off of the Pyromancer. And talk about a grind though, man. This is this game is a grind. I think I got I got more relics at least, so. Uh, what did they do? Clean the dust? Oh. So they, they got rid of my season pyromancer. Boo. Alright, so it goes. I'll just block with the familiar so we can. See what they got. Show us what you got. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, cling the dust, of course. It's like a um, it's like a whispers in the muse sort of at this point. I will happily block with the familiar. Don't mind if I do. Alrighty, draw a card. Nice. I might just fire off the flame slash just on the off chance that I happen to. Ooh, O stone. Um, this actually might be pretty good. Yeah, you know what? Don't mind if I do. I think I'll block. I don't. I don't think I need the two damage. And I think I'll just. Uh, I'll just crack it in a turn because I, I don't want to risk this. Uh, getting um getting abrupt decayed. Hopefully they don't play Crucian Grip, so that I can't respond. But yeah, being rid of Tarmogoyf once and for all seems pretty nice. Pretty nice. Not gonna lie. Alrighty. I'm gonna keep uh, keep drawing cards. Could use another relic, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Don't worry. <laughs> actually, I, I do think these uh, fountains might actually be pretty good. I mean, it, it you you know you don't think about your life total until like I mean we gained so much life this game three familiars. Like, we would have been under 10. Like, there is actually something to be said for just padding our life total. Like, we're just not... We, we can just... We just have a lot more wiggle room. And it, it's completely incidental, too. It's so nice. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's just do it. <clears throat> now they can get rid of our Season Pyromancer, but that's fine, because then that also means they draw one less card. We don't really care about them gaining a 3 life that much. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna remove it. That's fine. Because realistically, we'd have just had to use one of those tokens to block the goyf the next turn anyway. So what's the point, right? Um. Yeah, let's just uh, play the giant. And then let's play the Pyromancer before it gets discarded. Because you know we might draw like a land, another Pyromancer or something, you know, or Relic. See, if we played if we played Stomp, the Relic could get uh, discarded, and you know that would obviously be not good. And I think they're finally running out of cards to. Uh, to uh, escape in the graveyard. Two, two, four, five. Kadoki. Hmm. That was a little unexpected, but so it goes. Let's see. So we just 
do this now before they cling to dust. But we don't need to because realistically we could always just respond to them clinging to dust. Um, we could always just cycle in response. I don't care about this. It's so funny, they think I'm burned. This is hilarious. Alright, let's see. We really we really do not care about that. We just really don't. Alright, what do they got? I gotta cling to dust. If they go after a card in our graveyard, we just uh We have to card in our graveyard, we'll be patient. Because believe it or not, oh, uh, I don't think they realize this, but this is going to counter the ability. Yeah, no, uh, no card for you. Sorry. Yep, and this is where we can really get ahead, because we can bolt and then do the goif. Or do the, do the relic. Do the relic. <laughs> and yeah, let's see here. Oh, um, yeah. Don't mind if don't mind if we do. Um, so we're actually going to bolt first because we actually want them to respond. Like, because we're they're kind of incentivized to try to kill the pyromancer in response. But we're going to do this. We're going to cycle. Yeah, and then that gets discarded. And we can play both of these, which is pretty nice. So we're going to attack. Um, if they have, like, Abrupt Decay, we want them to use it on the... Alright, I guess we'll just do this then. Nice. And, alright. Keep the value train coming. Actually, Frigri Familiar, or however you pronounce this, this could be good against John. This could be good against a lot of mid-range control. It's actually, like... <laughs> it was just kind of like, just kind of like an anti-burn sort of... A supplemental type card, but I don't know. This might actually this might actually have a lot of a lot of good things going for it. Well, we've officially <laughs> we we both officially ran out of things to do. <laughs> I mean, we we were both we we were both just doing stuff every turn. Like this was quite the grind. Um, we'll see. They 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 might they play another. I don't know. I don't know what they could play, but all right. So at least we can cycle this. It's pretty good, if I say so myself. Um, I'll hold this just in case we have another Valakut. Let's see here. Let's see. I'll gladly draw a card. Thank you very much. I'll still hold this just in case. How many Valakuts do, do we have left in our deck? No Valakuts in the graveyard. I mean, in the exile zone. Or in the grave, so... Yeah, with two Valakuts left. Let's uh, let's just hold both. Normally, we'd probably just play one out because we don't want to. We wouldn't want to have to discard these with Season Pyre Mansion. But we've got so many lands, it doesn't matter anyway. All right, <clears throat> you can see you can see the jigs up. Alrighty. Let's see here. I guess we left in, yeah, we left in two Blood Moons. <clears throat> and if we drop Pillage, we can take them off of, uh, can take them off of their basic island. That's cool. Now, another Blood Moon. We might as well just hold this to pitch. See, times like these, oh, probably that's a Ice Fang Quaddle. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Well, at least we can get the tokens back. Let's see if they block. I think they have to. Yep. Alright, cool. Well, they might go after Blood Moon. Oh, no, they don't. Alright. That's fine. Now, if, see, it sounds like these, though, that if we do drop Valakut, it's gonna... It's gonna give so much value. So, like, that's what makes me wonder if it if I should if I should take Valakut out for, like, a, a temple. Yeah, see, like, Valakut here is just, when we draw one of our last two Valakuts, it's going to 
give us an instant refill, which we may actually desperately need. So, you know, we'll see. That being said, I hate getting mana screwed and not drawing my third land for Blood Moon or for lots of things. So, like, these temp the temple might actually be really good. Really good future tech. We'll see. Man, though, tell, tell me... The problem is, is, like, here, though, Valakut is... I, I don't know that this was actually needed, but, like, man, oh, man. Oh, I, they might just have a... Yeah, drawn on a lock. Ah, eh, okay, well. See what I mean? So maybe maybe it, it ends up not, like, making a difference. Although that, although that might... Uh, we still got one left in our deck. We may have wanted to use that on the token, too. It's just, like, not completely dead. Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's see. Kozilek, Unearth, down on the lock. Yeah, I guess they'll deal with the token. Well, we can flame. Finally, our flame slash will not be dead, which is nice. Okie doke. Okie doke. Okie doke. Man, hopefully they draw some lands too, because boy, oh boy, have we drawn lands. Man, we are drawing the lands. Lands are us. We've got one more, one more awakening in our deck. I don't know. Will it? Will they come back? Who knows? We want to just play the other Blood Moon because now they now there is actually value to be had for them dealing with our Blood Moon. All right. Well. Can't pass up, I think, the opportunity to get another token. So, as tempting as it is to. Yeah. Well, I think that's just GG. Let's just do this, though, to tempt them to play another um, Valakut Awakening. I mean, uh, another Drown in the Lock. Yay! Alrighty. Now that's a double Firebolt for you. Well, Firebolt, Lightning Bolt. Pretty good stuff. Alrighty. Well, that was a that that was quite an ordeal. It was quite an ordeal.